Hi, just a very quick um, unboxing of this, which is the Blunt XS Metro. It's an umbrella. Um, I haven't done a review of an umbrella before. I haven't really owned an umbrella before. Um, I have a bit of a problem with umbrellas. I don't really um, like using them. I've only really had one before and I wasn't particularly successful uh, in using that. Um, to be honest, I think I'd prefer generally to be um, at risk of getting wet than have the, uh, the the hindrance of carrying an umbrella, to be honest. But this one really caught my eye. It's by a company called Blunt. Um, and they've got a sort of unique take on the traditional umbrella design. Um, it caught my eye when a gentleman on YouTube, um, Nothing Fancy, um, runs quite a big um, US channel, um, did a review, and I really liked it. Um, so one of their main selling points is really the strength. So here it talks about um, how it's got an aerodynamic profile, um, smooth canopy surface, and that the a blunt umbrella is probably the safest and most durable umbrella, umbrella on the market today. So they've got a really nice design. Um, it ends up with the the ends of the struts having this nice rounded shape rather than a traditional sort of Okay, a focus there, um, pointy bit where you can jab yourself in the eye. So they've got a clever design. Um, first impressions, obviously, nice little bit of packaging, logos all round. Um, so yeah, first impressions are good because um, I do like a good bit of packaging. Taking it out, okay, the wrapper here, nice slip cover, logoed zipper pull, make and model there, yeah looking nice. Over here we've got the, uh, the, the cards which come with it and working from the back, talk about the canopy edge which is what I was mentioning, um, the blunt tips. So rather than having the traditional sort of pointy pokey bit coming out there, you've got this sort of spring-loaded, almost umbrella sort of arrangement which pings out and gives a nice rounded edge to it and also help, helps spread the load on the fabric in the corner there. Um, going through the little manual here, talks about the that system. If you want to have a read, you can pause it. See the, the shape of the umbrella sheds the wind load quicker double struts under here floating ribs whatever that means and obviously the blunt tips which we looked at a moment ago a little bit more on that there the radial tensioning system and there it says in the unlikely event that your blunt umbrella blows inside out it's been designed so it can be flipped back easily without breaking and the other landfill. About the 38 point checklist. How to care for your umbrella. It doesn't give you any warranty, so that always disappoints me a bit. Where a company says, you know, we've got the best product, it's very, very strong, etc., etc., I'd like them to say, here, yeah, have a 10 year warranty or, you know, lifetime warranty if they think it's that good. And this particular model, a 95 centimetre diameter. Um, 14 inches when it's unextended, 350 grams weight, it's a collapsible umbrella, so it comes out in two sections. So that's the information on there. Unzipping it, my sort of bellows, and quite a striking colour there, sort of a safety orange. Um, these come in a number of different colours, sort of blue. Um, yellow, orange, traditional black. I think they do a few patterns as well. Um, but I went for the safety orange because I thought, well, you know, low light, winter conditions, um, it's good to be seen so as you walk around in this sort of semi light. Nice little bit of branding on there. Branding there. Quickly open it up. So you basically just press the button. Okay. Eight it pops. And then we can have a quick look at the corners here. So as I say, the 
tension spread rather than being at a single point. Um, I'll just raise the, uh, the camera up a bit. Okay, so we've got it open now and we can take a quick look at a couple of the features. So in the corner here you've got the the sort of expanding um, bit which sheds the load around the corner here um, so it's not just a single point. Um, that seems to be pushed out by a little spring in there. I'm not quite sure how it all works. It's also tucked away under there. And you've got the the arms there, which are probably slightly more complex than you'd find in most umbrellas, but I think that's really their unique selling point. Um, and what allows it to be much stronger. You can see a few points of contact where everything's tied back and there and there. Um, I won't push it inside out, I don't think, um, but it seems to suggest that it will respond favourably to that. Obviously you just pull it in, click, and likewise out it pops like that. So I think probably the best, next best thing to do is to uh, take it out and get it out in the wind and rain at the next available opportunity. But hopefully that gives you some idea of what the product's about. Um, it's certainly nicely put together. And if it's as good as they say it is, I'll be very pleased. Um, nicely packaged. All in all, seems pretty good. Okay, hope that's useful. Cheers. Bye-bye.